ಸತ್ಯಸತ್ಯಸತ್ಯಸತ್ಯಸತ್ಯಸತ್ಯಸತ್ಯಸತ್ಯಸತ್ಯಸತ್ಯಸತ್ಯಸತ್ಯಸತ
सर्गादौ सृष्टवान् ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मा यथा एतत् जगत् यत् गुणं येन गुणेन असृजत् यत् स्वरूपेण येन स्वरूपेण असृजत् यत् स्वभावेन च असृजत् एतत् जगत् इति तत् मा मम आचक्ष्व टेल मी ऑल ऑफ दट तत्वत संपूर्णत विद इट्स डीटेल्स प्लीज एक्सप्लेन टू मी मैत्रेय इज आस्किंग पराशर एंड नौ पराशर इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द सृष्टि प्रक्रिया नौ दिस इज आफ्टर द तत्व आर् क्रियेटेड नौ हि स्टार्ट बै टाकिंग अबउट द नाचुरल सृष्टि दट फस्ट कम्स अबउट विच इज द तमोगुण Parashara Uvacha. It's a different angle or perspective from which you look at Srishti. So there can be different types of looking at that Srishti. So the initially when he spoke about it, it was Mahat Prakriti. From the Prakriti, how you had Mahat, etc., etc. Tamasa Ahankaram, Rajo Ahankaram and then Satvika Ahankaram, Ityadikam. Now the way he looks at it is Yad Gunam Yad Swabhavam. He, Parashara explains it through the gunas that are present in the uh, beings that are there in the world parashara uvacha maitreya kathayam yesha shrunushva su samahitah yatha sasarja devosau devadin akhilan prabhu yatha prabhu devah asau this lord who is prabhu who is the controller of everything yatha sasarja Uh, the in the manner in which he created all of this tat listen to that tat kathayami so yatha prabhu devah asau devadin akhilan sasarja whatever he has asked now all of those devas he is deva rishi manushya tiryak ityadi so adi padena purvasmin shloke ये ये कथिता तान सर्वान अत्र यू विल हैव टू टेक ऑल ऑफ दोस थिंग्स सो देवादीन अखिलान ऑल ऑफ दोस देवाज महर्षि असुर एक्सेट्रा तेषा तान कथम ससर्ज इति अहम कथयामि सु समाहितः श्रुणुष्व यू हैव टू लिसन टू दिस इन अ वेरी अटेंटिव मॅनर सु समाहितः सृष्टिं चिन्तयतः तस्य कल्पादिषु यथा पुरा अबुद्धिपूर्वक सर्ग प्रभूत तमोमय सृष्टि चिंतय तिंतय इज ऑलो इन षष्टि विभक्ति सो यृष्टि विषय चिंतन अस्ती तो सृष्टि चिंतय तन हू इज थिंकिंग अबउट हाउ टू क्रियेट कलपादिषु पुरा कलपादिषु जिस्ट इज हाउ इट वॉज क्रियेटेड इन दि अर्लियर सर्ग he was also trying to think about bringing back to his memory how he had created it in earlier kalpas and srishtim chintayata ha thinking about that srishti in that manner abuddhi purvakah tamomayah sargah pradurbhutah abuddhi purvakah anavadhanataya so first tamogunam started tamo tamomayah srishti sargah a sarga or srishti which is completely Uh, uh, of the nature of tamas started pradurbhutah it started because it was abuddhi purvakah it is something which is where the mind does not apply there uh, he 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 was thinking about creation and then a creation started which is with ignorance abuddhi is agnyanam agnyana purvakah tamomayah srishti प्रथम प्रादुर्भूत ओके सो सृष्टि चिंतय तलपादिषु युरा अबुद्धिपूर्वक अबुद्धिपूर्वक इज नाट बिकॉज द इट्स डोंट टेक इट एज एन एडजेक्टिव टू तस्य और परमात्म अबुद्धिपूर्वक डोंट टेक इट एज एन एडजेक्टिव फॉर दट इट इज एन एडजेक्टिव फॉर दि तमोमय सृष्टि ओके तमोमय सर्ग अबुद्धिपूर्वक आसी इट वॉज नाट ज्ञानस्वूप इट इट वॉज फील्ड विद अज्ञान सो वॉट आर दोस् वॉट हाउ डिड दट तमोमय सृष्टि स्टार्ट तम मोह महामोह तामिस्र हि अंध संगीत अविद्या पंच पर्व पर्वा एषा प्रादुर्भूता महात्म 
ಮಹಾತ್ಮನ ಪಂಚಪರ್ವ ಏಷಾ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಪ್ರಾದುರ್ಭೂತ ಸೊ ಏಷಾ ಪಂಚಪರ್ವ ಪ್ರಾದುರ್ಭೂತ ದಿಸ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ತಮೋಮಯ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಆರಬ್ಧ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಮಹಾತ್ಮನ ಪ್ರಾದುರ್ಭೂತ ಪಂಚಪರ್ವ ಏಷ ಪಂಚಪರ್ವ ಇತ್ಯುಕ್ತೆ ಪಂಚ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸಾ ಪಂಚ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಇದು ಪಂಚವಿಧ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾರೂಪೇಣ ಆಸೀತ್ ಸೊ ತಮಃ ಮೋಹ ಮಹಾಮೋಹ ಅಂಧ ತಾಮಿಸ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ತಾಮಿಸ್ರ ಇದು ದೇರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ತಮಃ ದಿಸ್ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅಸ್ಮಿತ ರಾಗ ದ್ವೇಷ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಭಿನಿವೇಶ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಯೋಗ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಯೋಗ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸೊ ತಮಃ ತಮಃ ಇಸ್ ದೇಹಾದೌ ಅನಾತ್ಮನಿ ಆತ್ಮ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸೊ ತಮಃ ಇಸ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣ ದ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ನೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ತಮಃ ಇನ್ ಯೋಗ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ what is that avidya mean so this avidya is different from this avidya this avidya in a in a way it is the same but as a technical term it is very different in yoga shastram there is a definition for it which is dehado anatmani those which are all anatma that which is not atma tadrisha dehado an atma abhimana ಯಥ ಅಹಂ ಸ್ಥೂಲ ಐ ಎಂ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅಹಂ ಕೃಷ ಐ ಎಂ ವೆರಿ ಥಿನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಆಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ವೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಎಂ ಥಿನ್ ಐ ಎಂ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಎಂ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ದೇಹಂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಯು ಆರ್ ಪುಟ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಇಂಪೋಸಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಆತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಐ ಸೊ ದೇಹಾದೌ ಅನಾತ್ಮನಿ ದೇಹಾದೌ ಆತ್ಮ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ತಮಃ ಅಥವಾ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ನಾನು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಇಸ್ ಮೋಹ ತತ್ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಷು ಪುತ್ರಾದಿಷು ನೌ ಮೋಹನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ತತ್ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಷು ಇತ್ಯುಕ್ತೆ ದೇಹ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಷು ಅಥವಾ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಷು ಪುತ್ರಾದಿಷು ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಎ ಪುತ್ರ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಆತ್ಮನ್ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಪುತ್ರಿ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಎ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಆರ್ ಸಂಬಂಧಂ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟು ದ ದೇಹಂ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಆತ್ಮ ಸೊ ದೇಹ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಷು ಅಥವಾ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಷು ಪುತ್ರಾದಿಷು ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಅಹಂ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಇತಿ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ಎವ ಅಸ್ಮಿತ ನೋ ಅಸ್ಮಿತ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇನ್ ಪಾತಂಜಲ ಯೋಗ ಸೂತ್ರ ಸೊ ತತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಇತಿ ಭಾವ ಎವ ಅಸ್ಮಿತ ಸೊ ದಿ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಅಹಂ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಯು ನೋ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ person i uh, i can command these people who are around me because there is a connection between us right that connection is not aatmatma sambandha nasti anatmanah eva anatmani sambandha vartate tatra so that we are not very clear about that so this is moha confusion we think that we can impose our rule on people around us that is the asmita moha the third one is maha moha ಮಹಾಮೋಹ ಶಬ್ದಾದಿ ಭೋಗ ಸ್ಪೃಶ ವಿ ಮೇ ಈವನ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಓವರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೋಹಂ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಮಹಾಮೋಹಂ ವೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ರಾಗ ಆರ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಪರ್ಸೀವ್ ಸೊ ಶಬ್ದಾದಿ ಭೋಗೇಶು ಶಬ್ದ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ರೂಪ ರಸ ಗಂಧ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅವರ್ ಭೋಗ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ Uh, desires that
that is when uh, pratighatam is obstructed when that ragam uh, uh, faces an obstruction pratighataha then it is called krodha so it's like a ball returning on a rebound right so when that kama or ragam does not get realized it rebounds and attacks us and it becomes krodha so that is tamisraha the term given in vishnu puranam is tamisraha and uh, the yoga shastra term is dveshaha okay so tamisraha tat pratighate krodha dveshaha andha tamisraha so in the shloka you will find tamaha mohaha mahamohaha tamisraha these are four and then the fifth one is andha samgitaha tamisraha iti anvaya panchamasya so andha tamisraha ittitte vinashaadi shankaya nityam tad rakshanaadi abhiniveshaha accumulation hoarding so that is blind uh, this thing you know uh, blind attachment and an involvement in the objects without an idea that it is going to get destroyed vinashaadi shankaya tad rakshanartham abhiniveshaha we know it is going to get destroyed we know that it is not permanent but at the same time we make all efforts to protect it that is called abhiniveshaha or andha tamisraha so these are the five types of avidya that are created that were first created by paramatma so tamo mohaha mahamohaha tamisrohi andha samgitaha avidyaha pancha parvayesha pradurbhuta mahatmanaha panchadha avasthitaha sargha dhyayataha apratibodhavan bahihi antaha aprakashascha samvrutatma nagatmakaha dhyayataha is in shrishti vibhakti the rest are all in prathama vibhakti here so dhyayataha you will take it as mahatmanaha from the previous shloka where srishtim dhyayataha mahatmanaha sataha iti as in saptami you use sati saptami right as in a continuous tense you can also use shashti vibhakti for continuous tense okay um but it's usually anadara shashti in classical sanskrit but here you don't need to take it as anadara shashti uh puranam uh, does not come within those rules sometimes it is beyond those rules okay so atra we just take it as sati saptami and take it as srishtim dhyayataha sataha athava dhyayati sati paramatmani when the paramatma is thinking about uh, the srishti the next srishti that happened was five types of srishti so avidya happened and then you have a physical form of uh, uh, tamas which is panchadhasthitah they are also of five types which are uh, um, uh, achetanatmakah okay ashayapur that that is of five types here he gives it uh, uh, he gives the five types in panchamamshah as vriksha gulma lata virutu samastaha trina jatayah so five types of trees gulma is uh, shrub lata is creeper virut is another type of uh, you know uh, creeper uh, and then grass tamastaha trinajatayah these are the five types of srishti panchadha avasthitah sargah abhut or asit sargah avasthitah asit so sargah srishti became Uh, uh, established or became stood as uh, five types which is vriksha gulma lata virut and trinam these are the five types of srishti that happened next as he was thinking about the srishti so srishtim dayatah satah tasya apratibodha all the rest are all an adjective for this five type of sargam what is that those adjectives apratibodhavan is the first one no tree understands or even has the concept of who am i at some point or the other a manushya can have this thought or can have this recurring thought na yaar ile ko aham iti paramarshah tu kadapi bhavet it's good if it is there every day and every time and you keep thinking about who am i but then not everybody can do it every day right at some point or the other there will be this uh, thought of who am i but this thought is completely absent in this type of a srishti which is completely tamomayam and agnyanatmakam 
सो अप्रतिबोधवान् कः अहम् इति चिन्ता रहितः इति परामर्श शून्यः सर्गः सृष्टिः बहिः अन्तः अप्रकाशः च बहिः शब्दादि विषये अन्तः सुखादौ च अप्रकाशः ज्ञानशून्यः सो दिस टाइप ऑफ ए सर्ग सृष्टि does not have the cognizance of sukham which is inside which is present inside our body which is not outside which is not based on the objects that are there outside bahihi ityukte there are sensory objects that are present which is uh, uh, which you which are shabdadi hai so shabda sparsha roopa rasa gandham these cannot be experienced by this type of a sarga which is vriksha gulma lata virutu trina okay the next uh, adjective for it is samvrutatma yatra atma susamvrutah asti atmanas uh, atmanah swabhavah tatra samvrutah the true nature of atma has been completely covered here and it is not known for this type of a srishti for vriksham etc they do not understand themselves they don't have the uh, curiosity to understand who they are बहिः अन्तः च अप्रकाशः दे डू नॉट काग्नाइज व्हाट इज देयर आउटसाइड नॉर डू दे काग्नाइज एनीथिंग दैट गोस ऑन इनसाइड आल्सो लाइक सुख दुःखम इच्छा इत्यादिकम ए ट्री डज नॉट विश टू ग्रो टॉलर विश टू ग्रो मोर दिस थिंग इट जस्ट हैपेंस इट इज जस्ट प्रेजेंट दैट्स ऑल बट इट हैज नो कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ इट्स आत्मस्वरूपम हेंस इट इज आल्सो नगात्मकः न गच्छति इति नगः नगात्मकः the mountains have already been created before so you take this creation as what it says in the fifth uh, amsha vriksha gulma lata virut which are also not moving from its position unless we physically take out a sapling and replant it in another place it, uh, it will not move okay looks like we are talking about brahman itself போது <laughs> 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 appears to look uh, talk about brahman you know uh, even though uh, one can relate uh, all these things to uh, the objects that are being described namely trees etc mm. anyway please illa illa idu ninga apdi eduthundena ungalku kashtam ena it seems to na vechindirukra varaikum it's okay because இருக்கணும் <laughs> 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 uh anyway uh, uh yeah but you take the case of uh, plants showing tendency to grow when uh, mahapurushas <laughs> come and water them irukla ana anga vande there is an outside impetus there for it to grow otherwise it does not have a swayam ichcha there swayam ichcha illa but and adikku vande oh i am so happy to receive water from <laughs> this guru abdin mm. அந்த சுபாஷ் சந்திர போஸ் இது ஞாபகத்துல வருது எனக்கு பஞ்சதா அவஸ்திதா சர்கா தியாயதோ அப்பிரதிபோதவான் பகிரந்த அப்பிரகாசத்மா நகாத்மகா முக்கியா நகா யதச்ச உக்தா முக்கிய சர்கா ததஸ்து அயம் தம் திருஷ்டா அசாதகம் சர்கம் அந்நது அபரம் புனக சாரி அந்ய அமன்யத் அபரம் புனக சர்க்கம் அமன்யத் அபரம் புனக 
So yataha, because of the fact that he sees these nagaha, these uh, uh, achetanaha, those which do not have any Chaitanya Swarupam and the, that where the Chaitanya Swarupam is very minimal inside that Srishti, the, the, and they, they are the, the, the asadhakam. He sees them as uh, not useful for any purushartha pravritti, moksha pravritti. So this type of a srishti where the chaitanyatvam chitswarupam is very limited and very less and where the atma swarupam is completely covered and there is no jnanam as such, he sees that this sort of a srishti is asadhakam, asadhakam purushartha pravritti shunyam, purushartha uh, dharma artha kama mokshaha. It is uh, uh, impossible for such a srishti to go towards, work towards dharma artha kama moksham. Seeing that, he decided, Amanyat, uh, Paramatma decided to again create another form of srishti, Aparam Sargam. So he moved from Chetanatvam, Achetanatvam to the next form of srishti, which, which is Pashupakshiyadi. The first line is, Yataha Nagaha Cha Mukhyaha Uktaha Tataha Ayam Mukhya Sarkaha. Because when uh, Yajnavaraha when he first brought the earth and placed it on the ocean, the first thing that he did was to make it well balanced and create the mountains there. Hence, uh, and the mountains are also not moving. That was the first uh, important srishti that happened. So, the first srishti which Paramatma created, Tamomayaha srishti, there too we have the first srishti as Nagaha. So, the humans were not created first. The ones that were created were Nagaha, that is the Mukhya Srishti or the most important Srishti with which the man has to interact and uh, uh, go about. So, Tam Drishtva, Tam Sargam, Asadhakam Drishtva, after seeing that this type of a Srishti is Asadhakam, which is not useful for Moksha, Purushartha Pravritti, uh, uh, for pursuing the different Purusharthas, he created another Sarga. Tasya abhidya yataha sargaha tiryak srota abhyavartata yasmat tiryak pravartaha saha tiryak srotaha tata smrataha. So tasya abhidya yataha tasya sargaha abhyavartata. For him who was continuously thinking or chinta makarot yaha tasya paramatmanaha sargaha pravartata tiryak srotaha iti sargaha abhyavartata tiryak srotaha. Uh, the, that is a nomenclature. That is, you take it as a samgya here. Tiryak srotaha iti sargaha uh, abhyavartata. The creation of tiryak srota happened. Abhyavartata happened. What is this tiryak srota? Tiryak ityute, uh, that which moves uh, in a horizontal manner. It does not move straight. Ruju na gachati, tiryageva gachati iti. So that which is not standing up straight and walking, but it is uh, uh, moving in a horizontal manner, right? On all four legs. Uh, birds are also part of this. So it can move either ways, I think. So, yasmat tiryak pravrittaha. Tiryak pravrittaha itite that which is pravritti, prakarshena vrittihi yasya. The, uh, the ones which have a vritti, a jivitam, which is tiryak, in a very winding course. It is not a natural process that they do. Uh, uh, so it is called tiryak because their nutrients are absorbed and then there are a couple of process that happens in their uh, 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 vritti, jivanam. So it is called tiryak, srotaha. Srotaha itukte pravrittihi jivanam. So, yasmatu, because of the fact that it's pravrittaha, it's uh, living, is tiryak, it is very in a uh, complicated course. Saha tiryak srotaha tataha sprataha. I don't know how complicated a, a bird's life is. Seems very simple. But yeah. Mm. Mm. Pashvadayaste vikhyataha. Now, who, what are these uh, srishti which is tiryak srota? Pashvadayaha. Pashu pakshi adayaha. Pashwadayaste vikhyataha tamaprayaha hi avedinaha utpatha grahinaha chaida te adnyane jnana maninaha. Te pashwadayaha, these are pashupakshi and other uh, beings. 
देर नोन एस पशु आदय विख्याता दे आर् तम प्राया तमो अधिका तमो गुण आधिक्यम वर्तते तेषु अवेदिन अवेदिन दे डू नाट अंडर्स्टैंड न वेत्ति इति अवेदि अनुसंधा शून्य अनुसंधा इज अंडर्स्टैंडिंग सी मेकिंग कंक्लूशन डिडक्शन त्र प्रमाणादिक उपयुज्य द वे यू हेव टू कम टू अ कंक्लूशन एंड अंडर्स्टैंड सर्टन थिंग्स दैट सार्ट ऑफ एन अनुसंधा और ए कंटिन्यूअस थिंकिंग इज नॉट देर फॉर दीज एनिमल्स एंड बर्ड्स द इन तैतृपनिषद शंकर भाष्यम हि से अथ इतर पशूना अशनाया पिपासे एव अभिज्ञान न विज्ञात वदंती दे ओनली अंडर्स्टैंड अशना एंड पिपासा सो इन देंस अशनाया इज हंगर एंड थर्स्ट दे ओनली गो विथ देर बॉडी दट अंडर्स्टैंड हंगर एंड थर्स्ट दे डू नाट हेव ए एन अंडर्स्टैंडिंग ऑफ um in the sense like if we go here will we get food is it a good food tatha they don't know how to analyze they only go by instinct here so na vignatam vignatam pashyanti na viduhu shvastanam loka loka so anusandha shunya ha ityukte if we try to get this type of a food are we going to get a good lokam or not tatha dharma dharma na vicharayata vicharayanti they do not think or analyze about dharma dharmam they do not have that capability of deciding whether this action that they make in order to satisfy their hunger and thirst is going to result in a good action or a bad action or is it going to give us a good result or a bad result tatha they do not have that cognizance so uh, that sort of an thinking is called anusandha anusandha shunya ha eva avedina so they do not understand this उत्पथ ग्राहिण उत्पथ ग्राहिण उन्मार्ग वर्ति भक्ष्य अभक्ष्य गम्य आगम्यादि विवेक रहिता ई वोट अक्सेप्ट दिस बिकॉज एनिमल वेरी क्लियरली नो वाट दे हेव टू ईट एंड वाट दे शुड नाट ईट इट मे बी भक्ष्यम एंड अभक्ष्यम अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर रूल बट इन ईवन इन देर सिस्टम they have only certain things that they will eat and they will not eat certain things they have certain rules gamyam agamyam also most of the times they are very clear and aware of imminent danger from there but their analytical capabilities are very less that is what he tries to say utpatha grahinah ityukte see to attain moksha the first step is dharma and in dharma you have a certain step of rules which is yama niyama asana pratyahara yamam niyamam uh, are ahimsa satyam asteyam ityadikam tu asteva so ahimsa satyam asteyam these qualities do not have any relevance to this type of uh, srishti for animals or birds so they tend to catch hold of uh, the wrong path उन्मार्ग अथवा उत्पथ इत्युक्ते दुष्ट इट इज ए वेरी टफ नॉट टफ पाथ बट इट इज द रॉन्ग पाथ टू टेक अप इट इज नॉट अ धार्मिक पाथ इन अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर रूल सो दट इज उत्पथ ग्राहिण दे आर वेरी क्विक टू ग्रैब ऑन टू सर्टन पाथवे which may not be considered which are not considered as the correct path in our uh, rules to attain moksha hmm? so upathagra ha adu saapada kudadu idu nama trap la maatiduvanra varudhu theriyama seyo saapdu vechi maatikiradhu illaya ama and apdi ipo meeno paravegalo okay okay nama pidipom and vivekam yanam illa illaya adhu correct correct saapada kudadu saapada koodiya vasthuva irundha kuda adha nama maati पिटिकारिंग at that situation it is abhakshyam they are not aware of that gamyam agamyam 
tathapi when hunters lay a trap they they go to places where they can go but they do not realize that there is a trap and they fall into the trap and get caught so that sort of a disc- discriminating power is absent for these animals super so te agnyane jnana maninah agnyane viparyaya jnane so when there is an uh, uh, viparyaya jnana brahma jnane jnana maninah they also think that they understand this really well so uh, the in the mruga trishnika word e vande it has come about because of this you know agnyane mruga trishnika is a a uh, mirage that you see in a desert right it's like a, a water body but it is actually not a bo- water body animals get attracted by looking at this and they think that there is water and they go so viparyaya gnane brahma gnane gnana maninah they think that it is water and they go that is why that mirage in sanskritam is called mruga trishnika hmm? so agnane brahma gnane sati viparyaya gnane sati viparita gnane sati ಜ್ಞಾನ ಮಾನಿನ ದೇ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಸೊ ಪಶ್ವಾದೇಯಸ್ತೆ ವಿಖ್ಯಾತ ತಮಃ ಪ್ರಾಯ ಹಿ ಅವೇದಿ ಉತ್ಪಥ ಗ್ರಾಹಿಣ ಅಜ್ಞಾನೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಮಾನಿನ ಎನಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ಯ ನರಂಜೀವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತೀಂ ವಾಚ ತೋ ಜಯಮ ವೀರಯತ್